Hey everybody and welcome back to part three of our season's tips and tricks, a how-to guide. Uh, today we're going to talk about seeding or planting your crops and uh, why do you want to wait to plant and uh, what are some other planting strategies to think about. So we are here on Goldcrest Valley. Uh, we have reset everything back to three day seasons. As you can see from Alt S, we have three days in each particular season. And we've got a fairly cool winter. We've got 37 degree air temperature, 39 degree ground temperature. So if we Alt S, uh, we'll see that the only thing that we can technically plant at the moment is grass, uh, which is rather convenient. Uh, we do have planting season for, we are in planting season for wheat, barley, and canola, uh, potatoes, and sugar beets, as well as poplar and grass. So we're gonna go ahead and this is just the default planter is up here. <clears throat> Let's just tab over. There we go. So what we're going to do is run down here to the farm and we're going to pick up some seed. And even though it is too cold to, uh, to seed, technically, we're going to go ahead and put some seed in the ground uh, just to see what happens. Uh, if you happen to seed too early into the season. Let's go ahead and load this up. And I'll be back with you once we get uh, this all prepped and ready to go. All right, for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to plant one pass of each crop that we can plant with this seeder. So that would include wheat, barley, canola, so soybeans, oilseed radish, grass, and uh, that's it. We're just going to go ahead and uh, do that. We're going to need to pick up a corn planter to uh, put in a row of corn. But what we're going to do is first day of spring, first thing we're doing is we're planting crops. Uh, now this is not necessarily the best idea. We're doing this to demonstrate something. Ideally, you would wait until your ground temperature was where it needed to be to germinate your crops. Um, especially with short seasons, there's not a lot of room to play here. If you plant and it's too cold, your crop will not germinate until it warms up. And if it doesn't warm up until after the planting season has passed, you're going to lose the crop. If you plant too early, before the planting season, uh, regardless of what the temperature is, the crop will not germinate. So what we're going to do is I'll leave a little bit of a gap here. I probably should have brought in GPS just to cheat and make everything nice and straight, but uh, we'll freehand this. We're not going to save this particular game uh, beyond this demonstration. For other um, segments of the series, we'll have to come in here and do some prep work and everything. Uh, but this is just for the purpose of demonstrating why you want to wait and what you need to think about as far as uh, planning out your crops. So while we're planning this, let's talk about... Uh, planning out your crops. So what the big difference between seasons and vanilla game is that in the vanilla game you can plant any day of the year, you can harvest any day of the year uh, without any issue whatsoever. So you don't really need to plan anything out. If you all of a sudden realize that you're short on say soybeans, you can uh, Plant a field of soybeans real quick. If you don't have a field ready, you can basically at some point very, very soon, you will have a field ready. You can plant soybeans in and within probably two, one to three game days, depending on your growth rate, uh, you could have the soybeans ready to, to uh, harvest. And in fact, talking about growth rate, you can actually change the growth rate in the vanilla game. With seasons, you cannot change the growth rate. Once we get here to the end, I'll show you some things uh, that I kind of failed to 
show you at the uh, part one of the video series. There are some things that when you enable seasons, you can no longer change in game. So I don't forget. So let's look at that. Here we are at the main menu, plant growth. We cannot turn plant growth on or off. It is fixed, set to off, but we can't change it. Plant withering, we cannot change. It is set to on. Um, so if you normally play with plant withering off, be aware if you don't harvest your plants at the right time, you will lose the, the crop. Uh, also, engine start is off. You may notice that when when I jump in the tractor, it doesn't start on its own. On easy and normal mode, I think it will start on its own. Uh, you have to hit enter to start the tractor up. You have to hit enter to shut the tractor off. I know on easy mode, uh, definitely on easy mode, and maybe even on hard mode, or on normal. Sorry, maybe on normal, the default action is when you jump out, it cuts it off. That's not the case here with uh, with Seasons Play. So we got wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, not sunflowers, sorry, soybeans. We need to get another planter so that we can put sunflowers and corn in. What we're going to do is we're going to finish our passes and then we're going to fast forward time into mid spring, late spring, and possibly even summer and see what happens to our crops. Um, what we should see is some of our crops should wither right in the ground uh, because it's too early to plant them. Other crops should uh, maybe come up if the ground temperature comes up in time. If not, uh, they'll just basically sit there in the ground and wait for the ground temperature to come up before they uh, germinate. We don't need to show oilseed radish or grass because we can already plant those. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go buy us a small row crop seeder and get that prepped up. All right, we got ourselves a uh, little Amazon row crop planter. And uh, we're going to put in sunflowers and corn uh, with this. And we're not going to bother with potatoes um, because that's a whole separate piece of equipment. And I think the demonstration here will uh, will suffice with these crops. See, we got rain coming. That's not going to affect our ability to plant. A rain only affects our ability to harvest and ted grass into hay. So if we have a wet crop condition, we cannot dry grass into hay, uh, and we can't harvest. Right. I was doing a live stream the other night, and uh, somebody in chat wanted me to uh, plant things in strips. Well, here you go, buddy. Got ourselves stuff in strips. I know it's not exactly what you were asking for, but hey, works. So later on in the series, we are going to talk about uh, the handheld seasons um, device, the Weepster, I believe they call it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and purchase it and use it uh, for this video. Uh, mostly because I forgot to install a game extension. Oh, I might as well put in sugar beets. Alright, what's another pass? So what the Whoopster will do is it's like Game Extension Farmer's Touch <clears throat> in that it will allow us to get some specific information about 
each crop as well as uh, various other things. We're just going to use it in this demonstration for the crop information. If we, we still need to buy our Weepster, you can find the Weepster under miscellaneous. It's the Weepster, and it acts just like the chainsaw. So if we point it at our crop, we hold the button down, we'll see that we have sugar beet. We have zero growth, 15% water temperature, 33% fertilization, and 10% moisture. Corn. Sunflowers, soybeans, canola, barley, and all right. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to fast forward until tomorrow. Now, let's take a look first off. Remember, we have 41, 41, 41 for wheat, barley, and canola. Um, soybeans is 50. Sunflowers is 45. And corn is 50. Sugar beets are 41. Now, notice that we technically shouldn't be planting um, sunflowers, soybeans, or corn yet. Okay, but we went ahead and did it. Let's fast forward into tomorrow. And with seasons, we have a skip night feature. So I didn't talk about that in the first episode. Um, seasons does not recommend that you use um, manual fast forward to go through the night. So we're going to skip night with Alt N. And we're going to go to dawn. Dawn is when the uh, sun would come up. waiting for various things to take effect. And now you'll notice that we have 41, 40, everything is white, okay? So we have 45 degree ground temperature. We check here though, we still have no growth on our wheat. No growth on our barley. Canola. Uh, what is this? Soybeans, we have zero growth. Think this is withered. Let's check this. Sunflowers, withered. Corn, interesting enough, we have corn growth. That does not make sense to me, at any rate. And sugar beet. Let's check here. Let's zoom in. See our various crop lines. And let's see here. Look. A couple of these are showing harvested. Not showing withered. They're showing harvested. The others are showing growing. Okay. So we have lost our sunflowers and our soybeans because we planted them too early. All right, so let's fast forward through another day. And let's alt in. And let's go to dawn. You'll notice dawn comes earlier the further you get closer to summer. All right, looks like we've got some crop growth. Here, this looks good. We've got 17% crop growth on our wheat and our barley. Here's our canola. Looks good. Again, these are withered. Corn is growing. 
I did not think corn would come up. And we got ourselves sugar beets. All right. Let's go through it one more time. Control R. Okay, let's alt in and skip night. Dawn is at 4.58 in the morning now. It is now summer. See all our crops pop back up. So we had a growth stage on our wheat. And we're not going to run through all of these, but you can see these are growing. These are poor, these poor souls are withered. Corn's still growing. I am surprised at that. I will tell you. Fast forward. See, evening comes later in summer. Still resting. Some days it takes longer to come out of uh, skip night than others. We have more growth on our wheat. Now we're up to 50% growth. 50% growth. We've got more growth on our barley. And our corn. What's happened to our corn? Still growing. It just... Seasons is a little interesting. There are only so many um, crop textures in the game. Uh, sometimes your crops will still be growing, although they will look like they're ready to harvest. Let's get to late summer. Dawn. Again, this is the default geo. If we were running, let's say, Midwest, we would have already been able to harvest probably our wheat and barley. Now we have... Wheat is almost ready. Canola is almost ready. And we can look at that by looking at our um, growth indicators Let's skip night again move into early autumn now autumn go and autumn is the sun is coming up later it's getting later in the day we can now harvest our wheat our barley our canola And our corn. Bet you we can harvest these these bad boys. Nope, they are still growing. Sugar beets are still growing. But you can see we did indeed, we lost our sunflowers and soybeans because we planted too early. I do not know why corn came up. Corn should not have come up. We should have lost corn just the same way we lost soybeans. Guess if you want to risk it, you can. Uh, but you can see now, also, we shouldn't be able to harvest corn because it's not harvest time yet. But uh, it's there. Same with soybeans. Well, we lost them. So there you go. This is why um, you need to pay attention because unlike the vanilla game, you can lose crops. You can see we lost our sunflowers and our soybeans. Uh, we should have lost corn. I don't know why corn came up. We should have lost it. Because one, the ground temperature was not 50 degrees, and two, it was not planting season for corn. So it is very important when you plan out your fields to have some decent field management. So you can see here, like for example, this this map, we only have three starting fields. Well, if you don't cheat and uh, modify your your starting fields. Um, you only have three fields for your very first year of production, and you need to think, well, do I want to have cows? And if I want to have cows, what do I need? I need wheat for straw or barley for straw, and I need grass um, for hay, and I need either grass for silage or I need corn for silage. 
So you may put um, you may put corn in field 12, you may put wheat in field 14, and you may put grass in field 15 to support your cows. Uh, if you're doing pigs, well, you're going to be kind of hard up because you only have three fields. You can only get three crops, and pigs need uh, four crops to uh, to be at 100%. But you need to think ahead of time as to what you want to do, how you want to plant it, and really look at your temperatures uh, because you don't want to lose crops. Seasons, you can definitely fail at farming. You could plant too soon. You could plant too late. Um, you could find a scenario where you lose your most important crop because you didn't pay attention to what temperature it was. Or worst case, let's look at our forecast. We got rain tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. So we have rain both mid-autumn and late autumn. So let's go ahead and just for fun, let's go ahead and fast forward into mid-autumn. See, sun doesn't come up till 720 now. So we have rain coming. Let's go ahead and fast forward. So we got through most of the day there without rain, thankfully. Um, but what this is probably going to mean is the entire third day is probably going to be wet crop and rain. There we go. We rain stopped overnight, but now the rain has started again. And let's see how long we can go into the third day of autumn before we lose the wet crop indicator. Man, what are you? All right. So you can see up there we have the little trees and the raindrops. That is the wet crop indicator. I'm going to fast forward. Oh, so we lost our wet crop, so now we can harvest. But if for some reason we actually waited until the last day in autumn, to harvest, we now have just a few game hours to get our fields harvested. Because if we don't, come first day of winter, guess what's going to happen? It is winter, and all of our crops are withered. If something happens and you cannot get your crop harvested before winter, it will be completely lost. It is imperative that you remember, have time management, plan out your schedule, plan out what you're going to get done, and prioritize getting crops off the fields. Can't even, we can't even get the tops off of those. They are rotting in the ground as we speak. So there you go, guys. That's part three, seeding. Why do you want to wait? Because you don't want to go through all the effort of planting just to lose the crop and have to replant. And uh, you don't want to wait too long to harvest because you could lose the entire crop as a result of it moving into winter. And now we have frozen ground. We can't work this ground even if we wanted to. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and show you. Oops. Soil is frozen. You cannot work on it. Look, we can try. It won't let us. We are not able to do anything to the ground at this point. So we also need to plan out our time management with, with respect to what we want to get done in autumn before winter starts. Because we never know when ground might freeze. Let's go ahead and have some fun. Might see it snow. yet and obviously the longer the seasons you have number of days per season the uh, the better chance you will of having snow and whatnot we 
We went through the whole year without any snow with three-day seasons, and now we're back to spring. So there you go. And we'll come back for part four tomorrow.